in Maui High School, and welcome to another edition of Shark TV. I am Harris Wilson. And I'm Vincent Van Patten. Our biggest story in recent news is that Point Pizza will be closing. Here are some of our classmates' opinions. I am here with Sean Ryan. We are talking about Point Pizza. Sean Ryan, what is your favorite thing on the menu? Uh, my favorite thing on the menu is probably the lunch special. Um, I love how they put avocado on the pizza too, if you ask for it, it's awesome, no other place does. My favorite thing on the menu is um, the pesto chicken sandwich. I get that OG cheese pizza. I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you. What do you think about the chain businesses taking over Point Pizza? Malb has been gutted. It's gross. It's disgusting. I don't like how Point Pizza is getting taken over by Demores. It's not good for our community and we should really do something about this because we're gonna have not good pizza in town anymore. Well in more food related news, my favorite, Chipotle has just opened in Malibu. Here's our review. Outside the new Chipotle in Malibu at the Cross Creek Center with Skylar Steinberg. So, Skylar, what do you think about the new Chipotle coming into Malibu? Um, I'm really excited that it's opening. I love Chipotle, so I'm happy it's opening. And how often do you think you're going to come to Chipotle? Every day. Yeah, as often as I can. That's dedication. I think it'll, I think the school will benefit by Chipotle. <laughs> kids not having to drive all the way to the valley to get a burrito when they can just drive to Cross Creek, which is pretty cool. So what's your favorite part about Chipotle coming into Malibu? Um, that's close. So after what activity are you most likely to come to Chipotle? School. And Matthew, what's your favorite part about Chipotle? Uh, the burrito part. Do you support chain restaurants coming into Malibu? Um, not necessarily chain restaurants, but I think Chipotle is made with good organic food and it's healthy and it's it's really good food, so that's why I support it. But I think as long as there's a mix of chain restaurants and local businesses, it's not a problem. I'm okay with that. I just love point pizza, so I feel like that's a big loss for now. Mm. Back to the studio. Today is the blood drive. If you would like to donate, you must be 17 years old or 16 with a parent's consent, at least 110 pounds, and you cannot have received a tattoo in the last 12 months. Now what you should know is that each donation saves about three lives, so there's really no reason not to. In light of the recent natural disasters, Kevin Payne is here to prepare you for when the danger strikes Malibu. Hi, my name is Kip Rains, and I'll be telling you all about the weather. Take a splash with me. Sandy's going to hit the East Coast hard. Be careful, boys. If you're living in New York, you get on the fifth story of your building, and you stay there for days. What do you, you want to do if the storm hits you in, like, when you're sleeping in your house? You, you want to run outside? You want to go to the nearest bomb shelter? You want to get in there and stay there for a couple weeks to two months? Oh, I didn't see you there. Hey, you better watch out. The quake's coming soon, and he's coming for you. He's not. He's gonna knock on your door, and he's gonna go, "Hey, I'm gonna shake up your town." Give me a shake. So if this big quake hits you when you're in class, you want to do about two things. You want to go like this, give it, give it a kick. Oh. Oh. You just hide under here, and if your legs are out, it's fine. Your legs can be out. They can get hit by debris. They're not your head, so you won't die. Um, then maybe if you're hungry, get a little piece of gum. If you're under the desk for a couple hours, you can do whatever you want, really. Oh, I didn't see you there. Well, if you're in your house during this big quake, you're going to want to get under, get under doors where uh, stuff would fall so they can, you can just catch them, just like put them back. But any place other than that, maybe a bed, maybe a bunk bed almost. A bunk bed would be a great, 
great bet. That's where I went during the 91 Northridge quake. From all of us at Splash KP, I just want to wish you a great day. Don't let the quake get you down. In national news, the presidential election takes place tomorrow. Now some students will be able to vote, and here are some students' opinions on politics. Just days away from the upcoming 2012 election, we're going around Malibu High School to find out what you know about our current candidates. If you could vote, who would you vote for? Mitt. Uh, Obama, because I think Mitt Romney's crazy. Obama. I don't know. Barack Obama. Obama. Can you tell me who's currently running for California Senate? <laughs> Jerry Bloomfield. Uh, I saw his like, oh, Barbara Vox. <laughs> Oh my god, I sound so, so stupid. It's like don't put that Ron in. Ron Paul, know. right? <laughs> or like Mitt Romney. I have no idea. No. Uh, no, I do not. Isn't it like Bill Bloom's field or something? I don't really care. Feinstein and Emkin. Uh, who's running for president? Oh, okay. Um, Mitt Romney. Okay, Mitt Romney and Barack Obama. Good job. And do you know when the election is actually taking place? Like, wasn't that last week? November? No? November yeah, I think it is 9th? November. Uh, next week, I believe on Wednesday. <laughs> November 23rd. Isn't it November 15th? A few days. Our Malibu High School students are clearly educated on the upcoming 2012 election. Amazing how much those kids know about politics. Anyways, on to sports. Here's Patrick Wen with the boys' water polo varsity team. I'm here at the pool deck with the Malibu varsity water polo team. Jordan Clark, how you doing? <laughs> I'm Patrick Wen. Jordan Clark, you are you are the varsity captain this year. What's CIF looking like this year? CIF's looking great. I think we can win for sure. We're number one, and we have some tough road ahead of us, but I think we can definitely do it. Camaraderie. I've noticed the chlorine turns your hair golden. You look slightly like Greek gods. How are you guys so good looking? Well, you know, I'd have to say that, you know, just hard work, effort, you know. This just doesn't just happen. It takes time, effort, yeah. Morgan? I'd say it's more so of a, it's a God-given gift, you know, some people are born with it, others aren't. But also, combination of the sun and the chlorine, really positive outcome on our bodies. I am definitely not born with it. Dane, I like your mustache. How long have you been growing that thing? It's been about uh, two weeks. Two weeks. Impressive, bro. <laughs> Thanks, boys. This has been a great interview. Way to go, Sharks. Water polo boys, bring that banner home. Our cross country team is headed for the CIF prelims on November 10th, so make sure to wish them good luck. Also, remember winter sports are coming up, so get ready for soccer, girls water polo, wrestling, and my favorite basketball. Make sure to come out and support your friends. And presented by Oscar Studio is our video of the week. Enjoy. Lastly, don't forget it's the end of the grading period this Friday. It's your last chance to bring those grades up before the progress reports come out. Thank you, Malibu, and I hope you have a fantastic evening. I don't know why I said evening. <laughs>